guys, what's going on? Good to see you guys. It's Saturday morning, and uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video on uh, stripping apart these motors here. I see a lot of people just throwing them in copper motors, um, but why? It's so easy. All you need is one tool, your uh, wire snips or a pair of pliers would even work. So basically, all we do is just peel up sides just like so and all we're doing is just breaking that plastic and then just pull all that copper goodness comes out nice and fairly easy, quick. As you see, there's quite a bit of copper on these motors. Um, and the rest is just garbage plastic or recycling. <clears throat> but yeah, this is kind of what I do in the mornings. Um, I do a little micro scrap in. Yeah, so there you go. That's like an ounce of copper, maybe two, even two ounces of copper right there. And I got a whole pile of these. I'll show you here. So as you guys can see, I got a whole pile of these sitting here. I just did a bunch of uh, electrical switches. And that's what these come out of. So. And then there's some copper there. So. I'll show you guys again. It's, like I said, it's a pretty simple and easy process. All you need is one tool. And a couch to sit on. Uh, so that top piece comes off there's the bottom piece and you just pull that's it simple easy quick copper so if you're a scrapper like me or just somebody who needs a little extra money here and there pick up these little motors i'm telling you guys um it's uh, it's pretty amazing how quick and easy getting this copper is. But there's like a lot of little motors that you can find, even on circuit boards and stuff, uh, electronics, you know, and uh, that are very easy to strip. So don't throw them away as copper motors if you can help it. Um, and I mean... I know, I, I know like a lot of scrappers will be like, oh, well, I'm too busy to be doing this. And blah, blah. But listen, if you're just waking up in the morning and, you know, you're taking, I don't know, 20 to an hour to sit there and drink a morning coffee. Why not have your morning coffee at the same time making money, right? That's what I do. Except I don't drink coffee. I drink my Gatorade. But you know what I mean. Nothing better than starting your morning off with some nice number two copper to add to the hoard. That's the way I see it. You know, and by doing these switches too, I also accumulate brass and some silver contacts and just a whole bunch of goodies so it all adds up a little bit by a little bit but yeah so again you know the the more you do the uh, quicker the process goes, too. And, I mean, it may not seem like a lot doing one or two or three, but over time, you know, just have, like, a bucket sitting there by your couch or a chair or whatever. And over time, just add a little bit of coffee to it each morning, right? Now, I mean... 
you don't have to do motors. You can strip wire. You can, you know, um, you know, whatever, right? Um, whatever little micro scrapping stuff you got from scrapping something out uh, around your shop. That is easy, simple, and uh, doesn't make too much of a mess. Then uh, there you go, right? It's perfect. It's a perfect... Uh, morning thing, you know, you're not fully awake, you don't have a whole lot of energy to do much of anything, you know, and uh, in a few hours you got pickups to do or, you know, whatnot, get a load ready for the scrapyard or just get ready for your day of work, you know, strip some copper, get yourself in the groove and in the mood and Knowing that you're waking up that morning and already making money, right? It's just money in the bank, right? Because next thing you know, you'll have a pound. Next thing you know, you'll have 10 pounds. And the next thing you know, you'll have 100 pounds or more. I save all my copper till the end of the year, and uh, at the end of the year, I cash it all in, and usually I get about mm, half a ton to a full ton of copper, not just doing this, but doing everything that I do, um, so yeah, but it all starts with an ounce, guys, it all starts with an ounce, one piece of copper to the next piece to the next piece. So, why let it go to the landfill, or why let it go to the scrapyard as is, and allow them to make that extra money, when, you know, they're already a big company, right, you're a little guy, you're just, you know, uh, a little guy compared to them, so why not you pocket that extra profit, you know the way I see it and if you're an investor like I am you know I mean I'm not a full-on investor or, or whatever but I mean if you invest into like precious metals or anything like that eventually you take this beautiful number two copper and you turn it into silver or gold or whatever and just put it away protect your wealth that's what it's about. But yeah, very plain and simple. As you guys see the wings there. On there, see how I'm just kind of breaking them off. I just take my clippers. Bam. 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 Just like that. And it pretty much starts falling off on its own. All I gotta do is just give it a little tug. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah, and just making money now. And you're adding some beautiful number two copper to the horde or the stack or whatever. So guys, just kind of sitting here. <coughs> During this video, doing this, um, I'll show you guys how much copper so far we've already harvested in just this about 10 minute video, give or take. So do me a favor guys, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to ring that bell. That way you're notified for the next video. Uh, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers, so if you guys can help us out by ringing that bell, it would truly mean a lot to us. Um, if you like our content and like to know uh, more tricks and stuff to harvest your copper and, you know, maximize your profit, then, uh, yeah, check out our playlist. We have copper recovery playlist, brass recovery playlist, and all that good stuff. Um, but here we go. So that's how much copper we pretty much harvest just on this 10 minute video. So hopefully you guys like the video, 
and hopefully it helps somebody out. All right, guys. Until next time, keep scrapping. Have a good one.